Hey, Goofy, have you seen my sandwich? No, I haven't seen one. Was there a name on that one? Oh, yeah, some weird name I didn't know, so I ate it. What was the name? Uh, Dylan? Goofy, how many of my sandwiches did you steal? Hey everybody and welcome back to yet another update of Disney Magia Kingdoms. This is update number 27 and boy do we have more Onward event to shove into y'all's faces. More dialogue, more stuff in the storyline and stuff like that. Welcome back to the channel guys. Make sure you hit that like button if you enjoyed if you enjoy this video hit the subscribe button as well because it helps me out and tap that bell notification so you know when I post another trash video but surprise surprise it will actually be tomorrow because like I said last video today is a six video week meaning Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday and Saturday you will all be getting new on related content in my kingdom the Disney Magic your kingdom so with that being said let's get right into it Guys, we're back in um, Little Mermaid chest. Um, I just purchased another six chest bundle for $9.99. I know you're all probably judging me. I'm currently judging myself. Watching this footage back makes me feel just ill. Physically ill. But with that being said, let's open another round, right? What could go wrong? He's gotta be in this one. Magic and happiness and Eric. Toy try and sand. Okay, that's not that bad. I do need souvenir concessions to put in my future thrill zone for Space Mountain, so that's fine. That's the last thing I need is those concessions. Um, souvenir concessions. That's great. We'll use it. First one. First one. Come on, air. I don't need any more aquatic benches. If you're not gonna give me Eric, give me a concession. Magic. Whew, sorry guys. I really want to start my own burger farm. <laughs> I mean, it's not technically a burger farm because they're not all burger stands, but you guys know what I mean. If you don't, aquatic land post. A burger farm started back when the game first was was first being made. Back when the game first came out, you could buy burger stands with gems. Okay, I'll use it for magic. You could buy burger stands with gems, and a lot of people buy, bought a lot of them and would farm them for magic. So that's where the term burger farm comes from. I mean, my dad joke about it all the time, but yeah, if you didn't know, that's what it is. More lamp posts. This is the last chest. I spent real money on this. There's only two options. Please give me Prince Eric. Please. We got it, right? What? What? That was real money. That was $10 that I should have been spending on adult things. Like adult things that I need in my life, like food or rent. Ugh, I can't believe this. Uh, it's fine. But anyway, the reason I'm spending so much money right now is because I came into a little bit of extra real money. So we are getting Captain Hook to help us with the Peter Pan storyline that you guys know we are currently in. And we're going to be struggling through for probably the next 3,000 months or something like that. Do you guys hear that? Your character. Yeah, I mean, you guys knew who it was. This is Captain Hook, so it doesn't come as a surprise. But he's pretty cool looking, guys, and I'm excited. <laughs> the clock scares him away. That's everything. I'll get that, Peter Pan. Not only did he steal me ship and disgrace me before me crew, but he ruined me best dress coat. It's a dark day indeed when a gentleman's dress coat is up and devoured by a crocodile without even an apology. That is pretty bad. Well, you can only push Captain Hook so far, I say. Mark my words. Today is the day I take my revenge on Peter Pan. As soon as I figure out where he is. Yeah, let me know where he is too, because he's not in my kingdom yet. Hook on the hunt, side quest. Send Hook to search for Peter Pan. Let me know if you find him, Hook, because I'd love to have Peter Pan in my kingdom too. I really would. That would be freaking awesome. What are we doing? <laughs> you guys know what we're doing. Don't ask that question. We're getting another chest for 60 gems, and we're gonna get Eric. Cause we need Eric. And by the end of this event, we're getting Eric. Starfish hair. Not what I wanted, but I can use it for magic, or I can trade it into Merlin. It's fine. I can trade it into Merlin. I can trade it into Merlin for an attraction. But my gems! 
Well, we still have 43. Okay, that's not that bad. It's not that bad. So we are going to go place these into a section of our kingdom. Just so I know that I now have two more of the souvenir concessions. Because I need those, as I said before, for my thrill level in Space Mountain. Which I'm hoping they unveil. Unveil. Ew. I'm hoping they reveal soon. Um, I don't know if they're having their update soon. Hopefully they are. I'm pretty excited about it. I know there's new permanent content coming in the next update. So holler. That is so cool. I think I'm putting the hair fish. The starfish. The hair fish. Ugh. The starfish hairband stand into the cauldron. Yeah. I'm gonna get some freaking elixirs. Yeah. But yeah, I hope they finally have the new thrill level soon. I mean, I obviously still need a couple things to get to the third level. I think, yeah, the third level to get more magic. But if I can get another area where we have 50% more magic, like, that's what I need right now. I need magic, magic, magic. So yeah, just here I'm putting a lot of stuff in the cauldron. Cauldron. Jeez, I need to slow down. Guys, you know I struggle all the time, so this is nothing new to you, okay? But I'm, I'm still sorry about it. We're putting stuff in the conjuring cauldron. Um, because at this time, I believe there was a sale in Merlin's shop. And I was like, well, yeah, I'll definitely, I'll just do that and I'll save up. I only needed 25000 instead of 30000 to get a new attraction. So I was like, yeah, that's a great idea. Um, I have a bunch of this extra stuff. I like to try to keep at least two of everything. Um, benches and lampposts mostly. If it was like a landmark kind of thing or like a statue, I don't necessarily keep two just because I don't know if I'll ever need to. But yeah, I'm literally cleaning out the kingdom right now. Anything that's a double that I don't need either for just decoration or um, the future thrill level, I'm trying to find it, swoop it up, and give it straight to Merlin. Dang it, I've been fiddling with the uh, volume control a lot. Oh baby. And all those people are almost done too, which is great. 696,000 magic, 551 magic. <laughs> Who reads numbers like that? I don't know. That ain't bad, guys. 27,000 event currency, that's not bad either. I kicked butt, and I continue to kick butt in this event when it comes to currency, which is super cool. This, that's another trick. If you finish the event early, or even if you don't, save up as much event currency as you can. Do not stop getting it. Even if you already have everything, you spent all the event currency you need to, save up on that event currency because when the event is over, your event currency is going to translate. That's not the right word, but it's going to turn into gems. And who doesn't love free gems? I love free gems. I love them so much. And we will talk about that in the future, what I currently have planned for my gems and what I want to save up for. But yeah, it might have something to do with parade floats. So I'm just going to leave it at that, a little teaser for you guys. We're back at the cauldron, and we just zoomed out of the cauldron. We're going to go look at the shop. We have 26, so we have enough for the attraction. And of course, guys, when I got the um, elixir I needed, sale was over and the Jolly Roger was not able to be purchased with Elixir because quite frankly we were missing a little under 4,000 Elixir. I was so mad at myself and realized I really am the most dumb. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah I went back and purchased another 999 aerial pack to get Eric one character could you guys you remember when I said we're gonna get him in this event yeah I meant that I literally meant that but are we gonna get it this time I don't know let's see come on Eric come on yes there I go flicking the freaking volume on to um okay I will take that I will take any sort of thing that can give me magic I appreciate that. I will take it. Come on, Eric, Eric, Eric. Come on, come on. <sighs> Trade it to Merlin. It's fine. I'm not mad about it. <sighs> One more. Come on, Eric. If I... Look, I don't ever want to see any more aquatic benches. Unless it's like a free chest we get in the calendar. So, once I get Eric, I am never touching... Obviously, I don't know why I would, but I'm never touching these chests again. Aquatic benches and aquatic lamp post make me throw up at this point. And I don't hear any new character music either. 
Guys, that means... What? What? No way. <laughs> oh, I'm... Oh. I was almost at the... Oh, no, I wasn't almost. I was on the verge of tears. When I finally opened this dude from the chest, guys. We finally have everybody from Little Mermaid. Not only did that feel great, but we got a free 20 gems to put back into that gem collection that we know we spent so much for Ariel. Before I met Ariel, Grimsby never approved of me spending so much time at sea, but I got a lot out of it. Not just how to steer a ship or hoist a, man a main sail either. I first started playing the flute out there too. Sailors are more musical than you'd think. I always liked this hornpipe they taught me when we were sailing to Glowerhaven? Where's that? If you know where that is, drop it in the comments, because I honestly don't know where that is. Oh, he's going to Atlantica. How is he going to breathe? Oh, guys, guess what? We're also welcoming Tony. So, we're really on a roll right now with these new characters. And we don't have to spend any more money on Little Mermaid. Thank everyone. I mean, I guess that room is supposed to be for human merfolk diplomacy. So, as air breathers can visit his palace and all. Oh, okay. But hey, the acoustics are great, and there's plenty of space for seating, so who says it can't be, you know, multi-purpose? Quest complete. Venue check. Still don't know how we're going to get the piano down there, but we can figure that out later. So there's a room where merfolk and humans can cohabitate. Is that the word? Well, well, well. Triton's lackey running around in a panic? Ariel's princey poo sneaking into the palace unsupervised. I'd always planned to have a bit of fun with Triton's coronation party, of course, but these saps are just making it so easy. I just need to figure out the right angle first. Huh, <sighs> so many potential marks, so little time. I love her. Repeat a bender side quest. Send Ursula to cook up a scheme. Ooh, but she was busy right then. Great song, right? Can't believe I was crazy enough to throw my flute into the sea that one night. Oh, not this flute. This one's new. I thought I lost the old one for a while, but I'm pretty sure Ariel's seagull friend fished it out of the water eventually. Have you ever heard a seagull trying to play a flute? It's, uh, it's really something. I bet. Quest complete. Song of the Sea. It's his if he wants it, though. It'll probably, it's probably too rusty for me anyway. Stuff does get... Does it? I think it gets rusty in the water. Blast this baffling terrain! Blast it all to pieces! That's the fourth time in an hour that I've laid eyes on that tree. <clears throat> Yes, everything ship shape and in order with the search thus far. Years of treasure hunting experience, you know. It's just as I said before, tomorrow's the day I take my revenge on Peter Pan. Quest complete, hook on the hunt, or possibly next Thursday. I need you to find him now, please. Thank you, I need him in my kingdom. Hmm, target the crab, maybe? Nah, too low on the food chain, literally and figuratively. Go at Triton head on? Nah. Tried that twice already and did not care for the results. And Daddy's little princess, well, she's gotten a lot less gullible lately. It's inconvenient, really. I'm sorry, Ursula. Which leaves... Ha! Oh, it's almost too perfect. Quest complete. Repeat offender. Really, if he was dumb enough to fall for that Vanessa act, he's dumb enough to fall for anything. Ooh, so she's going after Eric? Oh, maybe the piano won't be a problem. I think I know some dolphins who can tow it in. Well, that's good. Just so long as it doesn't get waterlogged. Grim just had that thing tuned. Don't worry. They'll be careful. What else? Oh, did you manage to find that fiddler and a concert tuna player? Haha, <laughs> it's concert tina, but not yet, no. The ship was late getting into port, so the gangplank isn't down yet. Oh, why don't I go talk to them then? Even if they're still all the way out in the harbor. Well, I don't mind swimming. Home port advantage, side quest. Send Ariel to find the musicians. Do you guys hear that? A new character. <gasps> Tony from the Lady and the Tramp. Storyline is now in our kingdom. Lady and the Tramp, of course, is the newest permanent content that has come into the kingdom. Ah, another sunshiny day. Bellissimo. I can smell the Fukashia already. I don't know that word. Fukashia? I'm so sorry, folk, uh, Casia? <coughs> arf, arf! Well, hey, look who's back for seconds. What's the matter, Butch? We don't feed you enough last night? Arf! Ah, oh, I'm making a joke with you. If there's one Pooch who's always welcome at Tony's, he's sitting right where you are. Aw, that's so cute. Welcome a restauranteur, restauranteur. And if there's another Pooch who's just as welcome, it's that lady from the viewers, eh? 
Thank you for being so nice to these canines. And you are a very welcome addition to my kingdom. Thank you. You wait right here, Butch. I got a nice piece of prosciutto in the kitchen just for you. I know what that one is, but I don't know what the fuchsia, whatever. Arf. Ha ha. Ha hey. What do you want to run off into my storage room for, Butch? There's no prosciutto in the storage room. I know this accent sucks, okay? I'm garbage all around. I know. So, Tramp is still looking for that collar, I'm assuming. Ah, oh, well, if you want to dig around in there, I let him dig. There's nothing in there that's not broke already. Now, you behave yourself, Butch. Your pal Tony, he's gonna be back real soon once he finishes some business. Ooh. Eat at Tony. Send Tony to drum up some customers. He reminds me of the one, one of the um, animatronics from Chuck E. Cheese. Um... I don't remember the name, but I think he played, I'm gonna say he played, I don't know. I'm not gonna say what he, I'm not even gonna guess. I was gonna say guitar, but I don't think that's right. I don't really remember. Um, yeah guys, we have a lot of people to level up. You know we're hungry for gems, so we gotta pick somebody, but let's hurry it up. I'd say Wendy too, so that we can get that new attraction into our freaking kingdom, Peter Pan's flight. We love the attraction and we want it in our kingdom as soon as possible. So let's bring her back in and get that stuff in to our kingdom. There's Peter Pan. What do you mean you don't know where he is? He just comes back to fly you around and leaves? Hook, he's right there. Wendy Darling is now level 2. Oh, how wonderful. I'm sure to have happy thoughts for some time now. Good. Now also get me further in the storyline and I'll have happy thoughts as well. And it's win win. Win win. Absolutely. So we are going to go and build that, guys. 200,000 magic. We had more than enough, but still a little bit of a hit in the magic bank. 283,000 left. 30,000 event currency, so you know we're killing it there. And that, guys, is the end of update 27. Thank you for watching another episode of Dizzle New York Magic Your Kingdoms. And I will see you guys tomorrow for another video. Make sure you subscribe and hit that bell not notification button so you know whenever I'm posting content. Of course, you know it's tomorrow, but just do it anyway because when it pops up, you will be one of the first ones to see it. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.